What is the best cleaning tip you've ever received? I'm a professional house cleaner, and I clean a lot of rural homes. Wink Rust Remover is the best product on the market for rust, hands down. Also, skip the bottles of spray cleaner. Buy a bottle of concentrate I use mere clean day. Put a capful in a spray bottle of water and go. It cleans mirrors, countertops, appliances, etc. Also spray it in your microwave. Close the door, and come back in 10 minutes. It'll wipe clean with no scrubbing. If you have a specific problem you want help with, feel free to ask. Someone pointed out that clutter usually accumulates in the same places just out of laziness. So instead of changing my habits I just accommodate for them. My junk mail always ended up on a particular rent table. So I threw a decorative basket under the table as a recycling bin. I have a bar in the dining room, but no trash can. So bottle tops ended up laying around. Bought a cute little bucket that sits on the bar with the bottle openers. Now even during parties the bar top stays clean, because it's so convenient. Yes, I use the same principle to organize my so's crap I watch to see how he clutters a space. Then create some boundaries on the chaos, so he can just dump stuff into designated areas. If it doesn't work, I view it like a puzzle and try again. It's much easier on the relationship to take this approach than to get mad at him for not being as organized as I am. If you've ever remodeled, you know about drywall dust. You can't sweep it. It just makes a cloud that settles and has to be swept again. There's stuff called sweeping compound that is basically oily sawdust that you pour onto the floor and push around and all the dust sticks to it. Then just sweep up the sawdust. After our remodel it was a godsend. Edit compound. Not chomping. Don't just wipe mold. You have to kill it with fire. Just kidding. Use alcohol, vinegar or a mold killing paint. Isopropanol is the best stuff against mold. Barkeeper's friend on a scotch bright pad will work wonders on pots and pans that have minor burnt on stuff. Carbonoff will take care of really burnt on stuff. Barkeeper's friendies. Bar none. The best cleaning compound for stainless steel in the world. Oh. Also it will wash your beer glasses without leaving. That soap scum residue that ruins the glasses ability to hold a nice head. To clean ceiling fans. Put a pillowcase over the blades. And then slide them off it'll pull the dust debris back inside of the case. Edit I personally just empty out the pillowcase into the bin afterwards. And then wash it. And it's fine. Clean while dinner is on the stove. Do the dishes and wipe the countertop. Sweep the floor etc. Most of the time you only have to occasionally stir stuff. So it can be a big time saver. Not to mention no one likes to clean after eating. I wish I could do this, but our kitchen is tiny so, if I tried to do dishes, while my gf was in the middle of cooking I think she would put me on the stove and burn me to a crisp, and I deserve it. Magic erasers are just melamine sponges. You can get a 12 pack of melamine sponges for as much as one name brand magic eraser. They're awesome. These are great. But keep in mind that melamine foam is an abrasive cleaner, so it may magically erase the nonstick finish from your pans, the protective coating from your countertops, or the nice brushed steel finish on your fridge. Rub waxed paper on the faucets. It prevents water spots. Waxed paper on the shower curtain rod. 2. Helps them slide like new. From an ex-slob. Here's a bunch of tips I've accumulated over the years. Use decent cleaning supplies. Trying to clean the bathtub with an old falling apart sponge and all purpose cleaner is a lot more time consuming and frustrating than just using baking soda ajax and a fresh sponge. You're way less likely to ever wipe down the counters if all your kitchen rags are in a mildewy pile under the sink. Use a Swiffer duster instead of just pushing the dust around with a rag. You get the idea. For reducing clutter go through your stuff. Take things you feel like you don't use often and stick them in a big plastic bin. Put that bin somewhere out of the way, like in your garage or the back of a closet, and set a calendar event for a year from now. Once that year is up, donate anything that you never took out of the bin. If you didn't need it in the past year, there's no reason you should have it with a few exceptions. For example fire extinguishers. Clean in stages, not room to room. 
especially if you're in a rush, because company's coming over or something. Start by walking through, and throwing out anything that's clearly trash. Then worry about clearing off countertops desks etc. Then vacuum, etc. It's no good having sparkling clean windows, if there's still muddy footprints on the floor when guests arrive. Get a sink strainer, and one of those suction cup holders for your kitchen sponge. It'll keep your sink from being constantly nasty and backed up. And your sponge won't be sitting in moldy food water. Corollary don't use a sink disposal as a substitute trash can. That's not what it's for. It will break. And your kitchen will smell like rotting food. If you haven't cleaned in a while, your place probably smells funky. Yes. Even if you don't notice it. That's probably just because you're used to it. While you're cleaning. Open some windows and boil a pot of water with some spices in it cinnamon sticks and some sort of citrus fruit is a good one to get rid of the stank. Put an open box of baking soda in your fridge. It'll absorb any gross smells from old food. Just remember to change it out whenever you clean out your fridge. Nerding out. Do you have any favorite decent cleaning supplies? What are the must? Stock these things in your arsenal. Treat your sink as a dish. When you get the dishes out of it, clean it. Treat your sink as a dish. MMMM. I'm gonna make a big sink full of spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. Put music on. Buddy of mine is retired US Army. Was stationed in Berlin for a long time. He has a collection of German Army marching band LPs. He says you put one of those bad boys on duck in house practically cleans itself. When cleaning a room. Start at the top. Dust clean the ceiling first, then the walls, then the furniture, then the floor. Let gravity haul all the loose dirt and dust down to the areas you haven't cleaned yet. I've never cleaned my ceiling or walls. If you don't properly clean your home, you'll attract unwanted rumors. Ackerbugs pests. 11. 10 for motivation. I grew up in a house that had mice. Which is why I lose my goddamned mind every time my roommates leave food unsealed especially on the floor or just throw the cardboard recycling in the garage for months instead of taking it out. No amount of laziness is worth the gigantic headache that comes with trying to get rid of a mouse infestation. Especially since a mouse infestation can then lead to a flea infestation. 2. Half-assing it is better than not doing it at all. And it still counts. Better to half-ass it every day than let it build, and have to marathon clean one weekend a month. In that vein, if you can get around it, don't tidy your room in such a way that, if you were to run out of ducks in the middle of it and stop, everything would be worse than before. That is, don't put things in piles, to put away here and there, put each thing away as you make the decision. It seems like more work, but having run out of ducks in the middle of this process many times I have to say it's worth it. To not end up with a bunch of piles of random shit spread out further than they were to begin with. Half-assing it is better than not doing it at all. This is such great advice for the chronic procrastinator. It applies to so many things in life. Two half-asses equals a whole ass. Clean as you go. Every day. Try to keep up on it. Otherwise you'll end up with a huge mess that you'll dread cleaning. You can constantly put in a small amount effort and never look at a mess. Or infrequently put in a ton of effort and constantly look at a mess. If you have a small child, wait to sweep for at least 30 minutes after a meal, because it's much easier when the food dries up. Also by then your child might have eaten it off the floor anyways. Saving you a chore. Or just get a dog, and then all the food will get eaten up immediately. Fold a cloth in half. Then fold that in half. Instead of wiping with a bunched up rag you will have 8 clean surfaces on the cloth as you unfold it, and then reverse it the other way. Hum. But wrinkles are little scrubbers. Thoroughly clean your bathroom. When a girl is coming over, they notice a dirty toilet. All the other mess can be chopped up to I've been busy lately. Edit the phrases chalked up not chopped up. You learn something new every day. And if you have a bachelor pad, for the love of god put a trash can in your bathroom, and have actual soap, and a hand towel by the sink. You'd think this would be common sense, but the number of guys bathrooms, where I've had to steal shampoo from the shower to wash my hands, then dry them on somebody's gross mildewy body towel or my pants is way too high. 
I really hope that people see this, in spite of how late I am. Clean your aerators. The end piece of many faucets twists right off. And for those that don't, you can buy a key for less than 2 bucks at a home improvement store. Take them off, soak them in vine gar, and scrub them. The little mesh parts can build up bacteria, mold, and plain old hard water deposits. Part of my job involves testing water for potability, and in order to get an accurate test of the line, we have to remove the aerators, because they're gross. Edit a word. When you get out of the shower and the bathroom is nice and steamy, I grab a paper towel and wipe down the sink and top and seat of the toilet. They get covered in dust and hairs from boyfriend shaving. The quick wipe make the space feel clean quickly it reduces how often I have to do a deep clean. After washing your shoes, tie the shoelaces to a pencil and hold the pencil outside of the dryer and close it. Your shoes will hang near the lid and dry instead of bouncing all around and causing a ruckus. Lazy cleaning. Leave wherever you are slightly better than you found it. If even throwing one thing out or wiping down your desk, whatever. If you do tiny stuff all the time you never have to actually do much cleaning cleaning. For the more vigorous cleaning stuff like washing the windows, vacuuming, etc. I just get trashed and do all that nearly blackout drunk then in the morning it's like magic that everything is cleaned. Edit this is my highest rated comment. I just want to say duck all of you. Each and every one. I hate you. Edit 2 don't ducking. Guild this you dumb twats. Drunk cleaning is the best. No one believes me. You know what I'm doing tomorrow. Making a huge drink. Cleaning the shit out of my house. Finishing my decorating. Making another huge drink. And having dinner on the table. When my husband gets home. I'm so productive while drinking. Use WD-40 to clean your stainless steel appliances. Wipe on. Wipe off. I had a professional house cleaner in Flusher times that wanted to know how I got my appliances so clean. And said none of her professional products did as good a job. I told her I used WD-40 one day when I ran out of everything else. It logically made sense to me as it's made to clean and protect metal parts. She switched to it from then on. Edit I know it's not cool to say thanks for the upvotes. But thanks. I thought this would get buried as I posted it late in the game. You my brain totally missed the word appliances in your post. I was thinking saucepan instead of fridge door. At first I was all. That's gotta leave off flavors. And I don't think WD-40 is food safe. Wonder soap is the best thing for removing blood and basically anything else. It's amazing. Just rub the soap onto the blood. And under running water rub the fabric against itself until the stain disappears. And it doesn't ruin color. D. My mom once told me that plain old milk is good for removing blood stains. I doubted her until I tried it. And got them she was right. I haven't seen these yet. When changing the linens. Put the dirty set into one of the pillowcases. Keeps it all together easy sorting for laundry. After recovering from an illness. Change out your toothbrush. Wipe down all the light switches and door knobs. Change bed clothes and sheets. And air out your place. Baking soda can be used for a variety of cleaning tasks. Including sprinkling it on carpets and furniture that you can vacuum about 15 minutes before vacuuming removes smells. The right music and mood are good motivators. Didn't see it here, but Ufi Unduck Your Habitat is a great site app for people who can use a little help. Rub a little brown shoe polish paste on wood furniture to hide scratches and nicks. The shoe polish paste comes in different shades to match most darker wood surfaces light, tan, medium brown, dark brown, etc. When soaking a pan that's got baked on good stuck to it, put a fabric softener sheet in it. After 5 minutes or so, everything will wipe right off. When washing windows, wash one side with up and down strokes and the other side with left to right strokes. That way you'll know exactly where the streaks are. Use the vacuum to suck up stray hairs and lint that accumulates in the bathroom before you spray it with cleaner and wipe it down. 